everybody, welcome to my summer New Year's vlog. I have just left Auckland and I am on my way to Te Awamutu. I'm going to be camping there overnight tonight and then making my way to New Plymouth the next day. Here I am in Te Awamutu. Um, I just biked over to the grocery store, the pack and save nearby. It's like a three minute, three minute bike ride. Got my little um, bum bag. I bought this on um, that Facebook marketplace. Super cool. Um, I've got my basket and my groceries here. I am having hot dogs for dinner. Um, hello. So I arrived and then I set up my tent. All my stuff is still in the car, but I am super hungry. So we're gonna go check out the communal kitchen and cook my hot dogs. This is like the simplest camping meal. I'm just having hot dogs and coleslaw. And I bought this massive packet of barbecue sauce because it's cheaper than the ones in the bottle. Good morning guys, happy New Year's Eve. So this morning I just biked around the little town center of Te Awamutu and it was very lovely. I just got a coffee and then I biked back here. Now I'm just gonna pack up the tent and then we'll be on our way to New Plymouth. raining it's just kind of cloudy and a little bit damp um, but if it stays like this and I'll be able to cook my dinner outside my tent there's a communal kitchen here but I feel like it's cooking in the comfort of my own space you know um, so yeah hopefully it stays like this for the next half hour ish I'm gonna set up my little stove on the table there bike riding I had a nice breakfast out in the sun just sitting there reading my book eating my croissant drinking my coffee so now I've got my bike all set and ready to go and we're gonna bike along the boardwalk
Well, it actually turned out to be a very beautiful day. Like, it's really hot, but the sun isn't bright. It's still behind the clouds, so it's not like extremely hot. So, I've just been biking around and I saw some really beautiful sights. The coastline here is so beautiful. The rocks and the waves are so gorgeous. I'm kind of hungry at the moment. So, I'm gonna go back and cook some lunch. I'm making a uh, pasta alfredo. Hey guys, tonight I'm going back to the Festival of Light. They have a market tonight, so I'm gonna go there and take a look. Morning guys, it's my last day here in New Plymouth. It's only 8 o'clock so I'm just gonna go hop on my bike and I'm gonna go look for coffee. Beautiful day outside. The sun came out and it is super hot. Unfortunately I cannot be out in the sun because I got sunburnt yesterday while I was bike riding. <laughs> it was cloudy but still you can still get sunburnt when it's cloudy. So I went to the mall today, did some shopping and yeah, I'm gonna sit in the car and enjoy the view. It looks really, really lovely. It looks like perfect beach weather. But my shoulders and my back really hurt, so. <laughs> I am checking in at my Airbnb in Mananui at five o'clock and it will take just less than three hours to get there from New Plymouth. Um, I'm stopping over there for a night on my way to the Hawks Bay. And I booked an Airbnb because the weather is supposed to be really shifty tonight, so. <laughs> I don't want to be putting up a tent and now I'm doing some sightseeing. Of course a trip with me wouldn't be complete without seeing a bridge. This is Te Rewarewa Bridge. I've arrived in Mananui. I'm in my Airbnb. The drive here from New Plymouth was so bad. It was like gravel road for like two hours. I think I saw like 10 cars <laughs> while I was there. And it rained kind of on and off. Um, so I'm glad I don't have to put my tent up in this 
questionable weather but um, yeah I've just arrived at my Airbnb and it's a pretty cute place I'll show you around if I can but first I have to hose down the car because it's so dirty had a really lovely stay at my Airbnb last night. It was called Grandad's Cottage and it was in Manunui. In the morning I met the granddad and he told us like a story and we had like a lovely yarn over breakfast with the other people who were staying um, at that place as well. Um, and it turns out that they know my good friends Abby and Enoch because they stayed there last year um, and they had a photo of them on their fridge and I was like oh what a small world. Now I am off to um, Hastings. I'm making a stopover in Taupo for some lunch. Um, it's going to be a bit of a long drive and I think the weather is going to be quite bad when I arrive in uh, Taupo and Hastings but um, yeah I've booked Airbnb instead of the camping um, instead of the campgrounds because it's looking like there will be gale so I hope it's a good decision. Just got to Topo. It was raining so hard when I first arrived here, but it has calmed down a bit. So I'm gonna get to show you some sights um, when I stretch my legs. But um, on the way here, I drove the route that I biked about a month and a half ago when I did the um, round the lake 40k's. And man, it was like a long way to cycle. Like I was driving it, and I was like, still going. <laughs> But the hill that um, I biked up, it didn't really feel like anything when you're driving. But when you're on your bike, man, you feel it all over your body. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab lunch, stretch my legs. Hey guys, I've arrived in Hastings. I am so glad that I'm not camping because the weather has been continuous rain all the way from Taupo to here. It has died down a little bit but um, when I was driving for two hours my windscreen wipers were on like max speed so I'm really glad that I booked an Airbnb instead so I'll be checking in in a few minutes um, and then I'm pretty tired so I'll put my feet up for a bit before um, thinking about what to have for dinner. This is my Airbnb tonight. I'm sleeping in the bottom bed. I just called my friend on the phone because I am here for her wedding, which is on the weekend. Um, and she lives nearby, she lives in Napier. So I asked her for some good restaurant recommendations in the Hawke's Bay area. And she recommended this Mexican restaurant that's in Havelock North. So I'm on my way there because I just saw that they have $10 quesadilla Thursday, so. Hey guys, I'm exploring Napier today. Um, it's really, really windy because there was a gale overnight and the winds are still quite strong today. It's not raining though, it's um, kind of cloudy but also a little bit sunny as well. I'm just sitting down at a Turkish cafe, I'm just having lunch. Um, but I'm going to explore the city by foot. Napier is the Art Deco capital because um, there are so many new buildings in Art Deco style, which is an art style that was popular in the 20s and the 30s. So all the buildings are quite cute and um, even the kind of like the waterfront side um, is really well done as well. There's heaps of like playgrounds and um, sculptures. So I'm gonna show you some sites.
These buildings behind me is called the Six Sisters. It reminds me of the Painted Ladies in San Francisco. out here in Napier. I've been doing some indoor activities. Um, earlier today I went to the museum and then I went to a chocolate museum which was really cool. Um, I learned about the history of chocolate and it was really interesting um, just how like normal chocolate is now but before it was like only for the kings and only for rich people and I got given some free pieces of chocolate which was really awesome. It was real delicious as well. Now I am on Bluff Hill and it is super windy and I am on top of a hill so I'm just kind of bracing myself for the wind. I'm about to go out and see some beautiful sights. You can see um, the port from here. I just checked out of my Airbnb and now I'm about to grab some breakfast. I am in Havelock North and there's supposed to be a really good cafe here called Maina. This is my Airbnb for tonight. I am in Hastings and I have a wedding to go to here which is the kind of main purpose of uh, me being in the Hawke's Bay and um, the wedding starts in a couple of hours so I'm just going to put some makeup on and get ready. the new Mr. and Mrs. Tori
morning guys i am making my way to tauranga and it's almost a four hour drive so i left this morning after my delicious pancake brunch lunch um and this morning i also went to church i went to hastings church last night i attended my friend's wedding and it was a beautiful wedding the venue was lovely the food was great it was at um i think it's called seleni i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it seleni estates so it's a vineyard um and yeah it was just a really nice atmosphere even though it was far away from auckland i am very glad that i could make the drive and celebrate the day with them yay it is sunny in topo like last time which was pouring down with rain. So now I get to stretch my legs and go sightseeing. I'm gonna walk along the um, lakefront. over in Rotorua and have to get a shot of this beautiful lake. This is Lake Rotoiti. I think that means small lake. is so beautiful when I was just um, riding along the road called Marine Parade the same name as the one in Napier man the beach looks so beautiful and the town center is really packed like there are just like a line of restaurants and cafes and ice cream places they also have like surfing lessons and paddleboard hire so I'm gonna go for a walk and um, find some shade because it's really really hot Four days ago this place was in the news because the campground was flooded all these things were like really muddy and i was like oh no what's it gonna be like when i get to tauranga but it's a beautiful day it would have been these campgrounds i think that were flooded because the rain would have just flown right off the mountain and right under their tents such a nice day of just being at the beach. I just walked around Marine Parade, got a smoothie, got an iced coffee, just sat there in the shade reading my book and it was just a really really lovely day. If you were selling ice cream I think you would be making bank like it was so so popular today. I need to buy a summer foundation because I change colour. <laughs> Tomorrow it's looking to be very sunny as well. I check out here in the morning so I have time to hang out at the beach again. I will be heading home tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. Our last day of holiday. Mm -hmm. 